This is gonna sound really weird, but I could explain. Basically, about two years ago, a friend of a friend at the Cambridge University Zoology Department had some spare stick insects, and they offered me some, and I was like, sure. So I bought this mesh container, and I picked up 10 baby stick insects, and the species I got are called Black Beauty, and they're from a tiny patch of land somewhere in Peru, I don't know where. And they are really easy to take care of, like you just feed them with leaves once a week and spray them with water every now and then. And they started to grow, and then they started mating, and after a couple months they started laying eggs. And these 10 stick insects ended up laying, I think, hundreds of eggs. And I didn't know what to do with them, and I didn't want to just bin them because that felt cruel. And it's illegal because you can't release them in the UK, they're not from here. So I thought, okay, I can make a hustle out of this, I'll just sell them. And I go on eBay and sure enough, there's loads of people selling stick insects and their eggs on eBay. And I thought, okay, I'll just do the same. So I made a listing and I priced it 1p less than the nearest competitor. So it was like £1.97 or £1.98 for a little batch of 10 stick insect eggs. I also selected the option where eBay promotes your listing but then takes a cut if you do sell your item because I just wanted to sell it, I didn't really care too much about making a profit. When I first started posting these stick insect eggs, I put them in a little plastic bag and I put them in an envelope and I just put them in the post, they got squashed. So the second time I posted them, I put them in a Petri dish like this and then I put them in an envelope and they got squashed. The third time I posted them, I put them in a Petri dish, bubble wrapped it, put it in an envelope and in big red writing I wrote on the envelope, do not squash and since then they haven't been squashed very frequently. Seriously though, I don't know what they do at Royal Mail, but they abuse packages. Also, I discovered that it's scarily easy to sell stuff on eBay. Like, there was pretty much no regulation and it made me realize when you buy stuff on eBay, be careful. Anyway, I ended up selling quite a few batches of eggs and meanwhile, I somehow ended up getting another set of stick insects from a friend. This time they're called the Sunny Stick Insects and they are pretty rare, like the first male ever was discovered in 2008. And by then I got a bit greedy, so I just started selling them for, for more, like from two pounds to six pounds. And I sold them in bigger batches as well, because that means I could sell them more quickly and pay less for postage. And in total, over a year and a bit maybe, I've made about 144 pounds from selling these stick insect eggs online. If you deduct the costs such as eBay listing fees, postage and packaging, it's still about 100 pounds, which is not bad, but at the same time, not enough to live off. But considering it's like part-time and very easy, it is a good amount of money. Also, my listings on eBay did recently get banned because you can't sell live animals on eBay, except for a few circumstances. And if you advertise it explicitly as pet food, like for lizards, for example, then you can sell live animals like insects. But I only did it in my description, not in the title, so like it wasn't explicit enough, and I got banned. But I'm just gonna make another listing and I'll put very explicitly sold as pet food only. Anyway, here's what I learned. Stick insects lay a lot of eggs. eBay has very little regulation and you can definitely make money out of stick insects, but it's a bit of effort. Also, I got one bad review from someone who didn't read the description, which is quite annoying.